Hello, I'm Mike Friedman. I'm a board member of Cytovia and very pleased to be associated with the organization. My background is as a medical oncologist with some academic activities at Stanford and the University of California, San Francisco. I then had the opportunity to serve at the National Cancer Institute in the extramural program, and for two years was the acting commissioner at the Food and Drug Administration. Then a, a, a stint in the pharmaceutical industry, uh, looking at drug development and, and new product activity. And then uh, at City of Hope uh, Cancer Center in Southern California, where it was my pleasure to serve as the president and CEO for a decade. I've been on the Cytopia board for about the last year. This is such an exciting time for cancer immunotherapeutics. The, the promise of CAR T cells has been abundantly demonstrated, but of course there are many, there are many problems with CAR T cells, the cost, the toxicity, and the inconsistency of benefit. We firmly believe that NK cells, especially IPSC generated NK cells, represent a wonderful new opportunity because they're powerful, because they promise to have less toxicity, and because for the majority of solid tumor patients, they, they provide a real option for the future. This is an enormously exciting time for cancer immunotherapeutics. We've seen from the data with CAR T cells that there's real promise. Unfortunately though, despite the excitement about CAR T cells, these are too cumbersome, too expensive, inconsistently effective for patients, and full of toxicity. So while this is a good first step, it's only a first step. We believe that NK cells, especially IPSC generated NK cells, offer the next most exciting option for patients. The reason we believe this is that the, the NK cell itself has a biology that lends itself to thinking about efficacy for solid tumor patients. Moreover, there will be the opportunity for less toxicity, less expensive costs, and easy availability. This is a bright and promising future. For those patients with solid tumors, the majority of cancer patients today, NK cells we think will be the next big advance. There's so many areas of promising science right now. What distinguishes one organization from another? And I've been particularly struck by the, the collaborative culture uh, and, and, and the willingness to work together that characterizes Cytopia. Given the limited resources that we have and the vast number of interesting opportunities, it's striking to me how many wonderful scientists and leaders have been brought together in Cytopia to try and create something new. My experience is that the very best organizations often have a collaborative culture, are often committed to excellence and a, a, a desire to move quickly and tackle big problems, and, and, and a rather severe pragmatism if something works, pursue it. If it doesn't, understand why or simply leave it for, for a more promising future. These are the characteristics that I find particularly interesting about Cytopia and, and give me real expectations of, of success in the future. CAR T cells have shown us that while it's possible to derive a, a therapeutic from a patient's own cells, and while it's interesting biology, it's terribly cumbersome. It's slow, it's expensive, and it's inconsistently effective. Therefore, it, it's so logical that iPSC-generated NK cells should provide so much greater opportunity. Here you have the ability to have master banks of literally limitless amounts of cells, these cells can be manipulated with some very clever and elegant gene editing technologies to take advantage of new antigenic targets or new opportunities for engaging those cells or for uh, making them even more effective. 
And so the idea of iPSC NK cells transforms what is otherwise a boutique, uh, interesting side treatment to something that can be mainstream and applicable to the vast majority of patients with solid tumors. I, I think it, it is the next logical advance and provides the platform for great future efforts.